right, quick video here. It's gonna be a quick little review of these cells here. These are LiPo 4, 100 amp power uh, cells from Orient Power, orientpowerasia.com. These are also available on Amazon. And they sent these to me, they just showed up. And so, I mean, <laughs> I don't know how good they are, but well, let's test them. I charged them up last night and each one of these took about 50 amp hours uh which is good because that means they're kind of match right 50 if each one took 50 that means that they were made at the same time and they're of same quality or probably right like same specs um we'll see these are really small if i get 100 amp hours off of these i will be very surprised because they are very small and very light uh as in comparison that is about 65 uh, amp hours right out of the headways and then this is much smaller and lighter I mean this is like almost one-third the size of that right so we'll see if they actually give us a hundred amp hours I'm gonna use this pure sign inverter 12 volt inverter uh, and then uh, that's gonna go into a, uh, a heater here right as always, I'm going to use this little meter here. What is that? For all of you guys that don't know, that is this guy. Droke Digital X, whatever that number right there. So I like to use that one. Um, this is the shunt base one. And because I'm using the wires that they sent me, and these are eight gauge wires, uh, I, I can't pull too much power off of these. I haven't looked at the specs, but I, I'm gonna try and do one C, so 100 amp hours, so I'm gonna do 100 amps. And let's see how we do. Let's turn this guy on. Let's reset our little thing here, clear it. Okay, and everything starts working there. Let's turn this guy on. There we go. There we go. That's 41. Second. There we go. That's 83 amps. Right. Uh, third. Can I do another one? Uh, it goes a little bit higher. So I guess there's no in between there. I guess I'm going to leave that one. So 130 amps, that's what we're gonna do. All right, it's about quitting time. Look at that! Just quit, but I'll do this up. okay. It just quit, and look at that 99.954 amp hours. This thing gave a hundred amp hours. Uh, now let's check it thermally. All right, here we go. These are the uh cells there. That's hot, 60. The cables are hot. That's, you know, probably 70 degrees. The cells are hot. Uh, this one say 56. I think they were around 60 degrees. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, those cables are, again, they're cheap Chinese. The ones that came with the inverter. Yeah, it's, it's, they're doing all right. This is pretty impressive battery. 100 amp hours. Pretty good. Very impressive in some ways but not so impressive in others for example this is clearly a storage uh battery right at one just a little bit over one c of this charge uh it got rather hot i know my little thermal camera didn't show it but that's because all of this is highly reflective right it's a, a metal canister with just a thin little piece of plastic on it so it didn't really show but it's probably somewhere around 70 to 80 degrees c while I was discharging, right? So that's really hot for a 1C discharge. 
These over here used to do be able to do 3C, right? And of course, these guys over here can do 25C, right? And so the discharge power or the power output is not that great on these. These are kind of wimpy, but the energy density, it's actually pretty high. Look, this is a 90 amp hour Winston battery from just a few years ago, for 10 years ago, right? This is what was in my bus for many years, 90 amp hours. And look at the size difference, right? Uh, yeah, these are a little bit taller, but they're also at 100 amp hours where this was 90 amp hours, right? But then if you look at the, the thickness here, I mean, it literally is about twice the energy density of the old Winston, uh, the Calves, and the Sinopoly uh, variations of this cell, right? These are, these, these are all came from, all brands came from the same factory back in China. They kind of split up and they went together. And these were kind of terrible back in the day they were the, the, the quality uh was really low so out of 100 cells that you would get there would be like five cells that were like really different than the other ones in capacity and power you know output and stuff and so that's why we kind of stopped using them in cars in our diy cars but you know obviously now the lithium iron phosphate uh, chemistry has come a long way when it comes to energy density right so these are Super dense, they're small, they're light. Uh, here's me putting it on a um, scale. And yeah, these are great for storage. Don't use these for electric cars, but these are great for, you know, power walls and stuff. So uh, if you want these, they're, they're, you know, there's a link on the bottom for you. You can get them on Amazon so you don't have to wait like a month or whatever to get them. Uh, and I think I, if I can find them on AliExpress, I'll, you know, link them there too. These are great. And I'm, I'm glad they sent me those to test them. I, I'm kind of blown away at the energy density of lithium iron phosphate these days. All right. Just a quick video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.